The essence of jazz and blues is the expression of feeling and emotion, happy or sad, and the technique is improvisation. Each musician plays as he feels, without a written arrangement or score. But through an intimate knowledge of and a sensitivity to his fellow players, each weaves a musical pattern that is free-swinging and natural. New Orleans jazz is being played today as it was in its heyday in this city's French Quarter in a unique kind of concert setting called Preservation Hall. Still playing regularly are some of the great jazz men who straddle several generations of the jazz era. In a city where music for the Negro was so much a part of life, a school of talented musicians developed that gave the world such influential jazz greats as Louis Armstrong, Sidney Bechet, and Jelly Roll Morton. Big Jim Robinson, who in the tradition of Kid Ory and other great trombonists, gave that horn a role it never had before, a melodic instrument. Clarinetist George Lewis, a forerunner of the melodic, lilting style of Benny Goodman. Pierce, blues singer in the great tradition, a follower of Bessie Smith and Ma Rainey, a predecessor of Ella Fitzgerald, Billie Holiday, and Sarah... Hey, you hey, Dee Dee Pierce, cornetist like Louis Armstrong, gave a new kind of voice to an old instrument, a singing voice that brought a personal, emotional quality to the cornet and the trumpet. Danny Barker recalls that jazz era of early New Orleans.